Well, this is our last day here in Key West. Absolutely tired, a little okay. hungover, burnt. There's shade though. Amazing time though. So, what we're gonna do today is just a little bit of island hopping. Just check them out, maybe get in the water, snorkel a little bit, nothing too major. Go out for a couple hours, enjoy our last day, and we'll be back on the road. And then in three days from now, we're heading to Jupiter to do some grouper fishing. So, groupie? Groupies! All right, let's go. <laughs> having this boat less than a month all of this is pretty much a big learning experience so if you're watching this and you have the experience let me know if there's better ways to get up on these islands besides just having a swim to it I don't trust bottoming out the boat going up to the island because of the influx and the tide and I've seen way too many fail videos people park their boats up there the tide goes out and they are just absolutely stranded. And I don't want to do that to the boat. Or these guys. They want to have a good time. <laughs> definitely, definitely a bit of a current. All right. Let me get a rope. You're okay. You're good. Relax. Yeah. All right. Get rid of the glass. A, here, yeah. Grab my hand. I got you. Yeah, if you can't touch the bottom, it sucks. There you go. All right, we're walking back. You want to just go to the island or we're going to the boat? Go back to the boat. Alicia, relax. Alicia, are you good? No. You can't touch her. You can't. Come on. All right. Hold I can on. touch her. You can touch her? Yeah. All right. Just stand right there. Let me go get her. <laughs> Come here. Grab my hand. I guess we definitely should have checked the current, huh? Come here. Grab my hand. Yep. We're getting deeper here. Yep. Almost got it. All right. She's standing where she's at. Yeah, you're not gonna fight that current. Just hold on to me. All right, we're gonna walk towards the shore. Are you gonna bring the boat here? No, no, he doesn't know how to drive the boat. <laughs> Sarah, you just stand where you're at. Here, I'm gonna pull you over to shore where you can stand. Once you stand, you'll be fine. Are you okay? All right, you should be able to stand here. You good? All right, just stand here. Yeah. Actually, walk towards shore. I want you to go to the shore. Since the current's going that way, you're gonna walk up on land, walk further out there. Sarah, yeah. you come here too. Hey, I'm gonna bring them on shore, have them walk up, so when they swim, it'll push them towards the boat. You good? Yeah. Felicia, you gotta walk. You're not going to be able to swim. Yeah. I lost where I could stand. All right. Can you stand? Yeah. All right. Last thing you want to do is panic. We're in salt water. You can easily float. You can? Oh, it's cold. Hey, Felicia, just want to let you know your husband's over there leaving you stranded. I know. <laughs> Good thing I'm tall. <laughs> yeah, because I can't touch. Got it, Mama. Oh. Ow, we just scratched. 
see the new mama. Are you okay? Here, hold on to me. You okay, Adam? So, how y'all feeling now? Tired. <laughs> Do you panic? Yeah. A little bit? A lot. Sarah? Sarah, you did actually a good, really great job. Probably should have checked the current, huh? But what's the saying? And I absolutely hate when I hear it, but YOLO Let's go to the golf. definitely almost happened. But we're on the island already. That's the only distance right here from here to the boat. But there's a current just dragging you down. Um, it's probably about seven, eight foot. So I can tiptoe it. I'm the tallest one, so they can't. So it was easy, as you can see. But what I think I'm gonna do is when we go back, I'm gonna swim out to the boat over there, grab my flippers, grab their flippers, swim back, because there's no way I'm gonna have to be able to get them all. John should be able to do it by himself, but if not, I'll bring the flippers back. Let's go explore. <laughs> See you guys later. Goodbye. Apparently, uh, after the last island we went to, they're a little afraid to go. It's very grassy, it's only a few feet. Obviously, you can see that I'm walking. Absolutely beautiful here, though. I don't know what the name of this island is, but I can see a lot of people have taking their small, well, small boats up there. And I'm assuming they're camping as well too. And I don't know if these are private or not, I'm assuming they're open to the public with all these people, you know, parked up here and sleeping on it. Definitely gonna have to do an episode doing that. But let's see what we got. That water got warm. You know what I haven't seen yet? I've been here for a week. I haven't seen any crabs. Tons of key deer. Came right up to you. They'll eat right up to your hands too. Um, a lot of iguanas. Everywhere you walk there's iguanas. No crabs. I can't believe you don't see any crabs. So hopefully we'll see some today. Get up on these people's uh, campsites. Oh. <laughs> Looks like there's some pathways and a bunch of older boats. A lot of trash. Uh, try not to get too burnt out here. People are camping or living. A lot of this just seems like people are littering and garbage everywhere. I guess this is the side of Key West you never see, huh? Don't know where I'm going, but there's trails. Very humid out here. No breeze whatsoever. Now, of course, once you get out in the open, there is. And it feels really good.
Whew, I'm already getting bit up by mosquitoes though. Tons of them. I can't imagine how it is at night. Looks like there's a clearance right up here. Oh, that's somebody's tent. Alright, I don't want to go through anybody's stuff. Give them their privacy. It's cool that you can just walk up. Go to any island you please. At least I think so. I didn't see any, uh, no trespassing signs. Well, not much to see here. But... Ugh. We'll see if we, they want to go to another island. I know uh, Felicia and Sarah are a little nervous getting in the water after uh, that experience. And honestly, on camera, it probably doesn't even look bad. So, it's a small bit of a pucker factor, but most of the time I could stand up and grab onto them. Strong current, though, very strong current. And that's my bad, my bad. Lesson learned. I should have checked that before I had them all get in there. I guess John's not getting the life insurance payout. <laughs> All right, let's get back in the water. All right, we only went to a couple islands, but uh, really wasn't a lot there. A lot, a lot of trash. I can't believe how much trash is on there. And I don't know if it's people just, you know, visiting, you know, on their sailboats and just going over there and camping up for the night or a couple nights, or if it's, you know, more transient-like where people are just living out there. Either way, they just leave their garbage there the whole time. This is not something you'd expect to see, you know, going to Key West. This is like supposed to be paradise and it's pretty much like everywhere else. You go to these resorts and it's absolutely beautiful. You get to some of these other areas, look like garbage. But on the other hand, it's always good to see, you know, what the other side looks like. And even on the islands, I don't remember Tom Hanks living that way in Castaway though. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one, y'all.